Hi, once again, this is Patricia Crane, who played Hilda on Hogan's Heroes. And uh, that's Bob Crane, my husband. And you are getting a treat of watching some Crane family home movies that have never been seen by the public. Um, obviously, these scenes are not uh, being filmed for the show. This is just Bob and I being very affectionate on the set. And uh, nobody's acting there. That's all genuine. We're just horsing around, actually. Um, oh, that was silly. Uh, now these are when the uh, cameramen are measuring us to uh, set up for filming. We're rehearsing and uh, setting the marks. And this is just rehearsal time before they, uh, before they shoot. I bought most of my own clothes for this show because they had a wardrobe of about a dollar a week for me, I think, because uh, they, it, they just didn't have many women on the show. <laughs> and I wound up going out and buying almost my entire wardrobe. My wardrobe basically was a red sweater and a black skirt. <laughs> so um, my hair is actually the same way it is there as it was uh, the day we got married on the set next door. <laughs> So uh, we're just discussing the scene we're getting ready to take. And uh, I worked around a door a lot, constantly going in and out. Colonel Hogan to see you here, Commandant. That, I really didn't have to memorize lines. That was about it. So every line that I got uh, took away from someone else. That, that is not my makeup room. That's on the, in the makeup room in the set. That's not my uh, dressing room. And uh, Ar Armand Delamar was our makeup man, and he was a very good friend to Bob and I. But I basically did my own makeup because um, so many makeup people I dealt with on other shows, they made me up the way they thought I should look, and I just got tired of it. So I just say, Armand, please put on my base coat, my shadow, and everything, and then I'll go to my room and I'll do the rest of my makeup. I, I you know, eyelashes, eyebrows, whatever, lipstick. Oh, I loved when Larry played a German or Hitler. He even played Hitler once and convinced Clink he was Hitler. <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, everybody's horsing around. We had fun on the set sometimes, really. Oh, this is the first year because I don't have the Hilda wig. Those are just uh, pigtails they pinned on the back of my bangs. I have very short, short hair. So that's Armand, yeah touching me up for the scene. So, little apple cheeks. Those pigtails look so phony, I can't believe them. They look like they're growing out of the back of my neck. So, I don't know why Bob is hanging on so long. And I just, uh, you can see during rehearsal, we did a lot of horsing around. There's that Larry again. Oh, that director was Gene Reynolds, who went on to do M.A.S.H. In fact, most of our crew, Hogan's ended, MASH began. And our cameraman went to MASH. Gene Reynolds was one of the, um, he'd been a child star, a child actor. And of course, that's Larry. I don't think he's doing Hitler there. Um, Ivan could do a great Hitler on the, um, when we do the radio stuff. And uh, he'd be calling Clink and be pretending to be on the phone or he'd be, in, uh, a, turn on a, a radio, the radio to get some phony announcement like the war was over. That was one of the episodes, and and I had to go over and perfectly time what turn turn the radio so the war was over and everybody could get excited. Oh, that's me smoking. Yes, I was given free cigarettes by Philip Morris because they wanted the stars to smoke their brands, and everyone on that set that smoked had to smoke. Um, I smoked Benson and Hedges 100s had just come out then. So uh, this is, looks like this is um, out at 40 acres. It may not be, but over at MGM's back lot was called 40 acres. And on that lot, they had the, yes, that's 40 acres. They had the camp built. And next door to Hogan's prison camp was Gomer Pyle's marine camp. And behind that was Mayberry. And my daughter loved to play in Mayberry. She would just, of course, they're all false fronts, you know, just darling little houses and everything, but you walk through the door and then you're in a backyard, basically. <laughs> so, that was Schultze. He used to call me Ziggy. 
he was like Santa Claus. He loved kids. I don't believe he and his wife had any children. And this is a rehearsal again. Uh, and he adored children. Not many of the actors that had children brought their wives or children to the set. Uh, mainly, I would bring my daughter frequently, but uh, Werner brought his kids a lot, and Ivan. And sometimes we had them there all on the same day, and the kids would all play. So it, they loved being there. I mean, I remember when Bob was doing um, Super Dad for Disney, the film, and uh, my daughter got to run over Disney's back lot, and she found the carousel horses from uh, Mary Poppins. Oh, there she is. Well, it looks like we've come to the end of these home movies, which um, are family movies taken at our home away from home, which was the Hogan set.